how important was that when, especially in light of this morning or this afternoon, I know that was frustrating to come off the ice, to bounce back like you did and play such a good game. That must have been very important for you guys. You know, we felt really good in the first game and it was a battle and we had one a little bit misfortunate uh, end where we gave them a steal in eight. And other than that, it was a really good game. So we felt really good and we said, like, let's just come out tonight and kind of do the same thing and, and hope it kind of works out better for us. And it luckily it did. So yeah, splitting today was big. We, uh, we came in wanting to do that. So feeling good about that and going into tomorrow and see what happens. It is a funny game because when you play well and don't get rewarded for it, that can be frustrating. But having faith in yourselves, and uh, that must have made a difference tonight as well, like going out with that philosophy that uh, we knew we played well, we just have to execute at that level and good things will happen. Well, and we went into the first game saying we just want to learn a lot, put a good game on the ice, learn about the ice, learn about the rocks, let's not worry about the result. And we did a really good job of that, and we felt like we um, did a lot of good things out there and felt comfortable coming into the second game, which is all we wanted. So we came into tonight feeling pretty good, and luckily we were able to pull it off. Close to home for you. Uh, must, a lot of familiar faces out there, I'm sure, that you're seeing in the stands, even though you're supposed to not look around. But uh, <laughs> even then, I mean, playing back in Manitoba, that must be a good feeling for you. Yeah, it's awesome. I actually will never see anyone in the stands. I don't. I really don't uh, look, which irritates my friends and family when they come and watch me. But uh, yeah, no, it's, it's really nice to be back. It feels like a, a while since we played an event in Manitoba. It was a few years back. We had a slam in Selkirk. But yeah, no, really, really nice to be to be back in my old stomping grounds in my old home. It's been a while since I've been to Brandon and it's been awesome so far. So yeah, really liking it. And just uh, a comment about uh, Pat. Obviously still a get to know you process, uh, known by reputation and a little bit I'm sure, but uh, what are you appreciating about him maybe that you didn't know about him after a couple of days working with him? Pat's been amazing and we, we sort of, we, we felt like he would be, that's obviously why we asked him to come, but he's very knowledgeable about uh, arenas and about big events and things. So, you know, it's not necessarily stuff that we never thought of, but it's maybe a little different take on some things and he's brought a lot to the table and he's a very calm presence for us, which is good because Amy and I are, and that's what Charlie always did so well that Pat's also kind of stepping in seamlessly to do. And when we've had him out there for timeouts, it's, it goes really well because we, we really value his opinion and we know that he knows what he's talking about. So it's nice to have him weigh in and give us a vote on what we should play. 2-0, uh, oh, you beat the world champ. Camps, um, and yet, I imagine you don't want to get too far ahead of yourself here. This is just the first day of the Home Hardware Canada Cup. Yeah, for sure. Two wins I've never seen make playoffs in Canada Cup in a seven-team field, so we definitely need some more. But it's great to have a good start. Well, and, and let's talk about that perspective of it. I mean, you guys clearly showed a, a comfort level, not just with the surroundings, not just with the event, but with the ice and the rocks. That's huge between the years, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. We got a comfortable uh, feel for the ice. Uh, we weren't quite as good tonight, but uh, we escaped some trouble early in the game. So happy about how it ended up. It, it, it. Just talk about the importance of confidence coming into an event like this because, uh, and obviously you play these guys all the time anyways, but uh, knowing what's at stake here and, and having a comfort level, what does that do for you guys in terms of being able to cope with all that? Yeah, I think the toughest part in this type of field is uh, sometimes in a like a briar or like a slam, you might have that easy game to bounce back. I'm not, an easy, not that any game's easy, but uh, an opponent that you usually would beat, we're here, you can look down the list and say, well, we lose to most of these teams at least 50% of the time, even if you're a good team. So um, just to constantly have that onslaught of a good team next, it's going to be tough. So what's the attitude going into tomorrow? More of the same, obviously, but uh, saying it and doing it are two different things sometimes. Yeah, I think sticking to our process, sticking to our game plan, and just getting a little bit sharper. I think we could have been a bit better today, but I think everyone's going to get better as the week goes on. So it just got to be a little bit better tomorrow. I think we're going to have some tough games coming up. Um, we just came out strong. Um, we had a few hiccups uh, along our way, but um, we bounced back from them and uh, came back and uh, held our lead. And we kept control of the game and we capitalized whenever the opposition missed. That's the thing in an event like this. When you, when you see all these teams that you know about, you're one of them, obviously. Uh, if things don't necessarily go your way, it'd be easy to just fold up your tents and say, this is not our day, but you guys didn't do that at all. Yeah, for sure. Um, I know uh, some teams do that, and even sometimes we do, but uh, we definitely have really, uh, um, <laughs> this year we've gotten behind on the eight ball quite a bit, so we're, we're used to kind of fighting back. And <laughs> but it's nice to actually finally have a lead and to be able to hold it. So. Yeah, no secret. It, it's been a grind this season for you guys. So do you look at this event as a chance to kind of put all of uh, basically uh, September, October, November behind you and, and start fresh? And obviously there's a lot at stake here too. Yeah, for sure. This is definitely um, going to be calling our first event. <laughs> so we definitely uh, uh, sat down and we just said, like, let's put um, the first three months behind us and let's start fresh and just go out like we know how we can play.
Right, and being close to home, having a lot of friendly faces around, is that helping the comfort level too? Oh, for sure. It's so nice to hear the fans just roar. It reminds me of uh, when we were at the Scotties um, in Beaujolais. Um, just kind of like a hometown thing and hometown favorite, so it's good. Having fun? Lots of fun, always. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, this has been a, a, a weird season for you guys, and yet there you are on top of the CTRS. Why? That doesn't make any logical sense. Yeah, it's been a bizarre year. Um, I think the key is we've uh, had great, great people filling in for Brad. I mean, obviously, I'm the, I'm the best player in the world out injured. Uh, it's really important to have good players come in and, and play, and they've all played really well. Um, Mark's also taken over skipping tremendously, uh, making it look look pretty easy the way he's playing so I think uh, Jeff and I have just been you know playing our normal roles and just trying to do our thing but um, you know the way Mark's played and the way our spares have played I mean that's just been a big help. Have you seen this different side of Mark as a skip that maybe you didn't appreciate for all those teammates as when he's your vice? <laughs> you, you, start, you start seeing he's been skipping now for so many events you're starting to get those skipping tendencies you know we, we put the wrong pulled the wrong rock into the corner for him one time the wrong color and he got a little uh, got a little irritated there, so I said, "That's a skip move there to get to get that." But no, he's. Uh, I mean, he's, he's he's playing well. It's it's a different position. There, it's uh, can be stressful at times, but he's handled it really well. So um, yeah. I don't imagine you're surprised that he's had this ability to be able to win games as a skip. No, not at all. I mean, he knows the game so well, and he he's been around it for so long. He's just doing his thing, but. Uh, He's handled the pressure really well, and uh, you know it is just a different feeling throwing throwing last rock. So he's he's done really well with it. And yeah, okay, I will ask. Uh, you and Charlie obviously have a history. 2007 Junior Final. Um, you know all about him as a player, obviously. What does he do for your team? Oh, he's such a great player. He's he's, he's been a great player ever since you know we 10 years ago when we, we played junior. So uh, I have a lot of respect for him. I always have, and uh, to bring him on the team. And he's played with Jeff before, so they have a good uh, good chemistry, and uh, he's fit in really well. Right. Yeah. Uh, are you getting texts, or who gets the text from Brad? Is it all on Mark? Yeah, I've never got so many texts from Brad in my life, actually. <laughs> What's he say? Actually, he's got a good, good sense of humor when he's uh, when he's sitting at home with lots of time to think. So he's uh, lots of jokes, and it's been uh, it's been good.